Oh, he's a bundle of joy, such a bundle of joy. Hello, Sid here. I'm just enjoying a bit of a cheeky beer with Bert down here at the Rockwell Club. Well, it's a glorious May afternoon and why not? Though, I do feel a little bit guilty to be quite honest because um, you may have noticed that a certain um, miserable presence isn't here with us. Well, it was Alf's trial on Friday and it didn't go too well. I mean, I felt quite sorry for him. He looked totally lost in the dark. He really did. He's never been in trouble before. Well, not trouble like this. Um, but it didn't help when he kept interrupting and was told to be quiet. But in the evening, he invited us all round to his place. He surprised us. He, he was almost cheerful you know um but then that all went out of the window the following day down at the football why he did what he did i will never know terrible ain't it what a cowing week first of all the reds lose on tuesday evening but we were in front but then let the game slip away from us and we got well beaten I'm telling you now, they were utter chronic. <sighs> that's three games in a row that's happened. Bunch of useless donkeys. They couldn't hold on to the lead even if it was super glued to the bollocks. Any road. Yesterday was the court case. You know, when I was accused of uh, helping that bogging lad break into the off licence. I, I, I tell you now, I, I wasn't looking forward to it. It was even worse when I was stood in the dock. The prosecution kept on at me with all of these questions. I didn't know whether I was coming or coming well going. Then my solicitor chap uh, stands up and starts going on about how I was at the scene of the crime. And yes, I did help the lad into the shop. I yells out to him. I says, Oi, you're supposed to be on my side. Anyway, that judge bloke tells me to bog in well, shut up, cowing fool. In the end, the bastard didn't believe me and fines me a thousand pounds. Uh, One thousand bogging pounds. I nearly had a cowing heart attack. But he ain't finished. He then says that he's looked at my past record, you know, causing trouble like, which won't my fault. And he also gives me a 12 month sentence suspended for a year bastard and then that solicitor chap said that all in all he thought it went quite well Prat. anyway in the evening that sid and mary and bert and yvonne came round our mavis put on a good spread and i know i can be a bit of an old moaner at times but i thought i would celebrate friendship because let's face it when i looked around the courtroom and saw sid and bert i thought to myself they're the only mates I have. Well, that was last night. This afternoon, the Reds were at home. It was the final match of the season. Despite them playing like a bunch of bogging camels the last few weeks, we were still in with a shout of promotion. We had to win and hope that results elsewhere went in our favour. Well, we were playing one of our bogey sides. I can't remember the last time we beat them. We were utter chronic again and losing by three goals at the break. Now, I'd take one of our Mavis's pasties uh, with me to have with, with me half time Bovril, but when I bit into it, it almost broke me cowing teeth. It was as hard as iron. So I, I stuffed it back into my pocket. And then a few minutes after the second half starts, one of our players puts the ball into his own net, the dopey clown. Out of frustration, I took the pasty out of my pocket and I, I hurled it at him. Unfortunately, I didn't aim it right and it hit a cowing policeman on the back of the head. He went down as if he'd been felled by an elephant gun. Oh, bugging hell, I thought. I'd you know, better make myself scarce. So I decided to leg it. I pushed my way through the crowd only to run into a couple of coppers who arrested me. Now I'm back in this 
cow in cell waiting to be charged. And I've taken my scarf off me in case I hang me bugging self. I'll cow it. <laughs> I hear that train a coming, it's rolling round the bend, and I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. I'm stuck in Wilson prison, and time keeps dragging. Oh, but that train keeps a rolling right down.